Can I tell you something? Promise me you won't judge. Aside from the pandemic, which is awful and terrible, and I don't want to make light of the situation, but I'm loving social distancing. I can just be an introvert. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to see people. I don't have to talk to people. I don't have to pretend to be interested in what people are saying. And I don't have to go to another brunch and listen to what someone's baby has done. I don't care about what babies do. I'm living my best life. Babies are awful and selfish. When has a baby asked how my day has been going? Never. See, this is why I know we're meant to be together, because we're on the same page. We should become lighthouse keepers. That would be the best, just the two of us. Living by the sea together, alone, not having to see anyone for months at a time. You look good too in a sweater. A cable knit would look really good with your shoulders. And if you grew a beard, oh, you'd be like a sexy sailor. Like a sexier sailor. We would be just like Robert Pattinson and William Defoe in the lighthouse. Oh, they definitely had sex. There was so much sexual tension between the two of them. Why do you think Robert Pattinson was jacking off with the mermaid statue in that shed? Because of the sexual tension that they hadn't released yet by doing each other. Absolutely would I fuck a merman. I think in the ocean, the ladyfish lays her eggs in a crevice, and then the guyfish just kind of shoots his load all over them. You know, on second thought, I don't think that I'd fuck a merman, because if the merman's going to shoot his load all over me, then it's going to get in my chest hair. And I don't like it when guys come on my chest and I can't take a shower right away because it gets all dry and crusty. I don't know if our lighthouse will have a shower. It might not. It's an island. It may not have any hot water at all. Or it could have a boiler that's so old, by the time the water heats up, the cum is dried up on my chest. It dries quick. Cum dries quick. What about you? Would you fuck a merman? King Triton? From the Little Mermaid? That's who does it for you? I'm imagining that you're 13 and you watch The Little Mermaid and then after you take the VHS box and it's yellow because of how long and how many times you've held it and then you go back to your room and you just beat off while looking at it. He was on the cover! It was him and it was the castle and Ursula in the background and then in the foreground it was Ariel and the prince and then Sebastian and Flounder. Don't be embarrassed. A lot of guys had their sexual awakening with the Little Mermaid. For the majority, it was Ariel. For the gay ones, the prince. You're just in the subsection that really liked King Triton. This does explain your thing for daddies, though. I promise I won't tell. Besides, who am I gonna tell?
I should get a quarantine hobby. Maybe cooking. Yeah, I don't want to go outside to get ingredients. Oh, I know! I can make Gundam models! I can order them online and they can be delivered here! If I got really good, you could call me Gunpura Senpai! Gunpura. It's Japanese for Gundam model. You don't like it. I know! Knitting! I could make us matching hats or sweaters! You would look so good in a sweater with your shoulders! I don't bail on hobbies. I got a guitar! I wrote your name in calligraphy! It's smaller so it should be easier to learn! <laughs> this is so much harder than guitar and ukulele! Well, when you say them all out in a row like that, yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's no use keeping that stuff if I'm not using it. Oh, we can recondo the condo. Oh, that whole does it spark joy thing? That's just a metaphor. Stuff can't make you feel emotions. No, it can't. Name one thing that makes you feel an emotion. And how does that make you feel? I've literally never felt what you just described. What emotion is that? That's joy? I felt joy before. What about when you're hungry and then you go out and eat food? That's joy. Yeah, you're right. That's just not being hungry. Oh, what about when it's cold outside and your hands hurt, so you put gloves on your hands and your hands don't hurt anymore? That's joy. You're right, that's just not being cold anymore. Oh, what about when you're tired, but you have a lot of work to do, so you stay up late and get the work done and then you go to bed? That's joy. Yeah, I guess that's just being sleepy and then going to bed. I think I've never felt joy before. Like, in my life. Is that weird? Well, on the bright side, it'll be easier to Marie Kondo the condo.